Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. I'm a mama maker, I'm a Glowforge enthusiast, and I'm a Harley Quinn cosplay model. So some of you already know if you follow me on Instagram or follow me on TikTok, that I had been working on a epic Harley Quinn cosplay. And I wanna give you a little backstory as to why. So Harley Quinn is a super cool DC comic character. She's had a lot of transformations over, you know, the comics, over the cartoon, and of course the Suicide Squad movie, and then Birds of Prey. And I've always thought that she was super cool. Some people get really gatekeepy and protective over these, you know, over the canon of these characters. And in reality, I think it's a story, it's for fun. And I remember thinking, man, it would be so cool to dress up as her. I would see these threads of men just completely roasting women for being plus size and wanting to do a Harley Quinn cosplay. Saying things like, oh, plus size women have no business trying to do this. Harley Quinn's supposed to be hot. Oh, these women, they should not be dressing up like that. You know, just really bringing them down because apparently larger bodied women are not allowed to be a sexy or even try to do fun things. So you know what I thought? I said, you know what, let me take this character because I feel like I've seen it the most about her and I want to be her for Halloween. She's also a very like, um, like she's always blonde, she always looks like very skinny and I felt like as a plus size Latina woman, what if I did it and made it my own? Utilize some of the old colors, but maybe some of the more punk rock feel um, that is involved in some of the newer movies and I had so much fun. So I wanna go through um, some of the things that I did that made this so easy. Specifically, I know you guys are here for Glowforge content. I wanna tell you how Glowforge made this cosplay a lot easier than it could have been. So I wanna start from the very top. I did, I do have this uh, daddy, ooh shoot, daddy's little monster shirt. I didn't Glowforge anything on this. This was, a, my mom helped me with this. She has a Cricut. You could absolutely do the same thing that I did with the jacket that I'll explain with the shirt. With the shorts, I the shirt is also just a wild fable top that I like put a decal on, cut, put some safety pins. Ooh, this is probably not good for the mic. I cut it up, put some safety pins, and then I used spray um, fabric paint, which you can find at Michael's. If I find it, I'll link it down below, to do your decals. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start right off the bat with one of my best kept secrets about cosplay and using the Glowforge and making um, props and items that specifically are material. Now, I use this for a lot of different things and I know that there's a lot of different ways Some like old school cosplayers been doing this for years, but when it comes to me, this has just been helpful. And that is freaking felt. This felt is already adhesived on the other side like this, super fast to cut. I'll put up what the, the settings I use for this and the link of where I got this below. And let me tell you why this is amazing. So I use this on the hammer, I use this on my custom shoes, I use this on the jacket, which I'm gonna talk about first, and this is the tea. So a lot of people have told me that they've tried to do spray paint, painted, or even bleached items with, um, with vinyl. Now, things that you would get on a Cricut. And now I bet some people are super successful. I've seen a lot of people not be successful. What I love about felt is I use this to make stencils for paint on different pieces of clothing and it absorbs some of the excess liquid. It absorbs. So you have, in my opinion, I believe that you have a less chance of it getting underneath and soaking into the fabric underneath. Whereas vinyl, anything that lands on top of that, like, you know, that vinyl cricket material is going to run off the side and possibly get under the thing where this absorbs it. So I'm going to show you the, um, the jacket really quick. So this is the jacket. I'm freaking in love because this is actually a last minute addition to the costume. And if, if you do a costume like this, this would also be really cool if you wanted to be a little bit more uh, risque, because you could have a jacket like this and just wear a teeny tiny little top. But look, look how clean the lines are here. Ooh, ooh. Let me see, let me hold it up to the camera. Show you back, and I have pictures, of course. But look at this. The lines came out so freaking clean and on here, I did a little excess. So this is, the, I wanted to show you this because I do two different types of processes. I do one where the stencil is the letters and I spray around. And then two, where I do a stencil inside and I spray inside. And you can kind of see that it creates two different finishes on here. But what I love about this is you're not only seeing what happens on using spray fabric, but I'm using a black material. And I sprayed down white first so that I could actually see that red in places where the red is just on its own. It's kind of dull. You can kind of see it in the light, but it's really not that much. But this was a $20 jacket that I fully just went in and customized. And I just used felt and spray fabric paint. That's it. That's all that I did. 
Now I did a very similar process on the shoes. I just painted them with uh, acrylic paint and used these little fabric. Um, I made a ton of diamonds out of this and I put them all over the, the shoes and the shorts. That's it. And I'll even like, guys, I'm telling you, this stuff is so easy to use and I think it looks so freaking cool on the shoes and the shorts. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I did that with. The next item that was part of my costume was my earrings. And I did these super cute acrylic put in earrings. Now you can put these on regular earrings if you wanted to make something like this. And by the way, look at this amazing glittery acrylic. This comes from a local place in Houston that my friend, uh, General Eclectic on Instagram, she took me to. Oh, focus. Look at these, aren't these amazingly adorable? Now I put them on gauges because I have gauged ears, but you could make something like this put on regular earrings. And it just was like such an extra touch to, oh, I should have, oh, why am I not wearing these right now? Ta-da. My process is the, for the acrylic. If you've ever been on my channel, you know the process for acrylic. I just cut it at 130, unless it's black or thick acrylic. I cut it at 130 and I, um, I cut it at 130 at full speed, comes out every single time, just like a charm. I do the basic engrave that's used on every other feature. And then while the masking is still on, I use paint to put it inside that engraved space. Simple, easy, 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 works 100% of the time. So that being said, I also cut out an acrylic keychain that had the Suicide Squad logo. Um, it was very last minute. I just wanted something extra to put on my hip because I had like a wallet, or not a wallet chain, a chain and a bandana on my hip. And I also um, cut out a Joker collar necklace um, for the Joker and I wore it in some of the photos as well um, and it's made out of this foam that I used to make my hammer out of that we'll talk about last because I feel like this is the coolest prop of all the props um, and that foam I just cut like it was leather you know just cut it with scissors hot glued it together and put a ring that I had in my toolbox that I was using for some gate project I engraved the Joker card, a classic old design of a Joker card on top of it so that he could wear it on top of his tie. It's just like having the Glowforge and putting together a whole look is so cool to like bring like extra little pieces. And I feel, I'm sure people feel the same way about a Cricut or if they have a CNC or some sort of larger laser. It's just really cool, uh, you know, 3D printer to have something in your space. you like, you can make something out of nothing. And that's why I think cosplay might be something that y'all see more on this channel. The final prop that I made. Um, so we have the shirt, we have the shorts, the jacket, I made the keychain, the shoes, the earrings, um, and my hammer. Now, I did not come up with this idea for this hammer. There is an amazing tutorial, which I'll post below, which taught me how to use this foam stuff. Funny thing is it's actually off center. Look, look how fun funky it looks. But in the pictures, who cares? It doesn't look like that in the pictures, and so that's important. But what I did was I followed her torch tutorial, but in she sells like um, a guide. Um, for how to cut it out and instead of doing that I literally just stuck this foam in the in the Glowforge and I engraved or I scored where I wanted these things to be cut I don't remember the setting in which I used but if you buy some of this test out a few different things I think I did it similarly to what I did the felt with because it's a kind of you know foam I don't know I, I think I did it around like 300 speed 40 power um, but you always test before you do anything because you know stuff can happen and then all I did I followed the tutorial you hot glue this thing together and then you paint it you kind of rough it up um, if I were to do a smaller hammer with this foam you 100% could score wood grain on top of it and I know that that's possible um, but instead I just used like an exacto knife to etch out these little details and paint on top but I Glowforge, what's that? It's felt, our favorite material right here. And I put this good night and I feel like it just looks so freaking cute. How cute is that? Then I did this by hand with paint. And then of course, more of those little felt triangles, which of course it might be smart. I, I was actually planning on doing that and I just didn't, but I, you could totally, um, you should totally uh, hot glue, or not hot glue, what was I gonna say? 
Mod Podge on top of this and you could go all the way down. I, I almost thought about replacing this with a larger piece of wood that I could really decorate, put a lot, and you could actually put the stick in the Glowforge, engrave stuff on it, use that as a stencil to paint on everything. I'm telling you, cosplay is fun when you have fun tools to play with. And this thing is so light, like it's it, weigh, it weighs like nothing. Um, so it, it looks cool, it's big, but it's honestly like it weighs nothing, it's super cute. You could actually tie it onto your hip, things like that. Um, and yeah, so once I had the whole look together, all I had to do was figure out how am I gonna show this with the world? And I went ahead and I was like, I wanna do a photo shoot, I wanna go all out. And so I called my best friend Katie, who was my, um, she was my Poison Ivy because you can't have Harley Quinn without Poison Ivy. Yes, to the Joker, but more importantly, Poison Ivy. It's canon, it's fine, I'm really into it. I also, a friend of mine showed me the new Harley Quinn show on HBO freaking love it. It's amazing. If you haven't watched it, I highly suggest it. Um, not for kids, for grown-ups. <laughs> so I called my friend Katie. I said, hey, will you be my Poison Ivy? And she actually got a custom pair of earrings made by General Eclectic. She's on Instagram. You can check her out and look how beautiful these acrylic green uh, ivy earrings came out. They looked so beautiful on her. And then of course my friend Calvin was Joker. If you have not followed Calvin online, he has a cooking show called Cooking with Calvin. It is ridiculous. It is fun. He is a great dude and you should definitely check him out. He was a total amazing sport for the shoot. And uh, without further ado, here are the pictures. So I hope this was a fun video for you to watch to see the process in which I made this and just to encourage you that if you wanna do something, just do it. Don't be afraid if you think you're not smart enough, if you think you're not cute enough, you think you're not this because there's always someone who's gonna be hotter, smarter, cooler than you, but you have one life to live. So do the things that you want. I'm so grateful that you're on my channel. I know that there are a lot of other Glowforge makers online that do better quality videos with better information, but I enjoy making content, so I'm gonna continue doing it. By the way, I also did all my hair and my makeup and Poison Ivy's hair, or hair, Poison Ivy's makeup by myself and I'm very proud. Uh, it was a good time. I really, really, really enjoyed this whole project. I, I really felt like maybe this is something that I could be good at. Maybe this is something that I could do more on this channel. If you wanna see more cosplays, please let me know. You know what, it's okay, it's like, I'm a girl. I like having pretty pictures taken of me. I like having fun. I like feeling sexy and confident. And you know, as a, as a bigger person, people try to make you feel like you're not allowed to do that because you don't fit a mold. But what I found is the more that I embrace the fact that I am a woman and I do enjoy being beautiful, that other women feel encouraged by it too. And so it's not just about me and how cool and how hot I can look or how awesome I am. It's more so about me just enjoying what I want to enjoy for no other reason than I want to, and then other people feeling like they have permission to do the same. So I hope if anything, you feel encouraged to just do your thing. Like do it, do it. It's, there's, there's no reason to stop. I mean, unless you're gonna put yourself in debt doing something ridiculous and not, you know, but if it's within your means and you have the time and the ability to do it, like live your life, live your life. And of course, as always, if you want to get a Glowforge, you can save $500. I know that some people hate that I make money this way, but I'm honest with you. I do make money by selling Glowforges. I will never pressure you into doing that. I'm here to make content for free. You do not have to do anything in order to enjoy this. I love you guys. If you have an idea for another cosplay I should do, maybe one that's controversial, uh, comment down below. And if you haven't already, there's still time to enter the Crafty Chats giveaway, which is on our episode 10, which is amazing. We could win a $100 Specs gift card. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And also we hit 4,000 followers on this channel. So thank you. Like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm a single mom. I'm a small business. It's what I do full time. Any way that you can support me by just clicking and subscribing is super helpful and it costs you nothing. I hope that you'll have a wonderful Halloween and an amazing day. Love you.